Our next game recap is the 4-1 Los Angeles Rams heading to Detroit to take on the 2-3 Detroit Lions. There's Jeff Fisher talking to the number one overall pick, Jared Goff, as this would be a rookie quarterback showdown. And on the first drive for the Rams, Jared Goff fires an interception to Quandre Diggs. Diggs, however, would leave the game later on with a shoulder tear, and he will be out for the next month or so. But the ensuing play, Jake Rudock is sacked, and he fumbles, and William, I believe in Mermaid's Haze, comes up with the fumble. So Jared Goff now begins next drive, rolling out of the pocket and completing that pass to Riley Cooper, the free agent signing. As we now transition to the second quarter, Rams on the ball now at the two yard line, third down and goal to toss to Terrence McGee and he runs it in for the touchdown, doing a little Nene dance right there. As McGee is starting because the Rams have three other halfbacks injured, but Greg Zerline doinks the extra point. So, it's still a 6-0 ball game. Next drive for the Lions. Rudock throwing it up, and it's intercepted by Jaquan Jarrett, a morbidly underthrown pass for Golden Tate. On, and then on the ensuing play. Goff completion out to Terrence McGee, and McGee has 17 yards and a first down. Goff beginning this game 7 of 9. Now on 3rd and 13, later on the drive, Brian Quick. He breaks two tackles and fights his way into the end zone for the touchdown. The Rams take a 13 to nothing lead. After the Lions once again go three and out, Jared Goff throws it right to the middle linebacker Jonathan Bostic, who runs it back for a pick six. Bostic has been a big time surprise for this Lions defense, but after the Rams go three and out, TJ McDonald recovers the fumble from Jake Rudock, and that would be the end of Rudock's day, as you'll see a little bit later. But Goff right here, he completes that pass to Brian Quick for the touchdown in the back of the end zone. The Rams get the two-point conversion. They go up 21-7. So new quarterback in the game at Central Michigan, Dan LaFever. He's been in the league for a few years now. And he slides right there for a gain of 12 on a first down. The dual threat completes that pass to Amir Abdullah for 17 yards and a first down. No huddle back to the line right here. Lefevre, play action, looks, looking, rolling out, and he sees Golden Tate, and he puts that one on a rope to Tate all the way down to the Ram 13 yard line. So on third and six, Lefevre doink right off of Eric Ebron's head. So the Lions going to the half down 21 to 10. No action in the third quarter, so we skip ahead to the fourth quarter where Goff completes that pass to Tavon Austin for 29 yards and a first down. Austin's only catch of the day. Then on 30 15, Goff rifles it to Lance Kendricks for a first down down the Rams 11 yard line. Now let's get to one of the weirdest plays you'll ever see. Terrence McGee fumbles the ball, but Jared Goff picks it up in the end zone for his first career rushing touchdown. Crazy play and Jim Caldwell is going bonkers. He is not happy. The Rams lead now 28 to 10. So Dan LaFever is the Lions' lone hope to get something going. He slides for a good game right there. Then he completes the slant pass to Golden Tate. And Golden Tate is gone for the touchdown 67 yards. So we have a bit of a ball game. LaFever's first career passing touchdown makes it 28 to 17. Then on third down and six, Terrence McGee is stopped. No gain right there for him. And then Greg Zerline is wide right on the field goal. And that could have completely iced the game for the Rams. So the Lions have a little bit of life right here. First down and 10, LaFever completion out to Eric Ebron. Fighting for good yards, but he can't get out of bounds. Remember the Lions, they're out of timeout. Tick, 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 tick. First down and 10. Lefever play action. He rolls right into a sack, but luckily the fumble is recovered by Graham Glasgow, the rookie. Now on third and six, Lefever airing it out, and Anquan Bolden comes up with a 39 yard touchdown. This is a one 
three-score ball game. The Lions can go for two and make it a three-score game, but Lefebvre cannot connect with Bolden again. So the Lions' last hope is the onside kick. Matt Prater with a kick, and guess who it's recovered by? None other than Brian Quick, who is all over the field today for the St. Louis Rams. So the Rams move to a surprising 5-1 and one on the season. The Lions drop down to 2-4. and four. Jake Rudock had a horrible debut, 0 of 4, an interception, and two fumbles. But for the Lions, Johnny Manziel returns next week. It will be interesting to see who starts. Link the scores in the description.